Guys, it's good to shake up your training sessions a little. In fact, it can be refreshing. And that's why today we're ditching this ball and training with this ball instead. Well, sort of. What's up guys, it's Coach Phil. I'm really excited about this video because it's okay to think outside the box and use different methods to train. And in this video, we're gonna show you three different drills, all using tennis balls, that will help us develop a softer touch, improve our vision, and overall reaction time. By the way, you should be able to find tennis balls at any major retailer. I bought this bag of a dozen for just over $10 at Target, and we've definitely got our money's worth as we've used them over and over again. Now for this first drill, we're gonna put a hoop down in front of us. Have your partner, or if you're training at home, maybe it's a parent or sibling, lightly toss a tennis ball in your direction and try your best to comfort the ball so it will gently land inside the hoop. This is a tricky drill and it takes a very soft touch. If you're too stiff, the ball will just bounce off. If you're too forceful and treating it like a volley, it has no chance of dropping. You really need to catch it with the flat part of the top of your foot and bring it downward so it can rest easily. This takes practice, but it's a good drill to do because as we know, the best players must have a soft touch. Now for this next drill, we're gonna do toe taps or foundations. Easy enough, right? Well, you're also gonna have to catch a tennis ball while doing so and not skip a beat. The purpose of this drill is to improve our vision and force ourselves to get into the habit of keeping our head up. It's not only considered a success if you can catch the tennis ball, but do so without stopping the soccer ball at your feet or messing up your rhythm. This will also build confidence and you'll find yourself looking up more while having the ball at your feet during the game. Finally, one of our favorite drills and one that's a ton of fun, what we like to call the flying balls of doom. Set two cones about five to 10 feet apart and make sure you stay in between the cones with your ball. Your partner will start throwing the tennis balls at your soccer ball and you have to dodge the tennis balls with quick but soft touches. Remember, you have to stay in between the cones and whoever is throwing the balls should be aiming for the soccer ball. As long as a tennis ball doesn't hit your soccer ball, you're good. Now, if this becomes too easy, try implementing moves in this drill like the scissors or a pullback L. Get creative. This will also help with your vision as you're forced to keep your eyes up and it will also help with your overall reaction time. Of course, this is another drill where you really need to have a soft touch, keeping the ball close to you at all times. And don't get frustrated if you make mistakes. It's one thing to see people run through perfect training sessions on social media, but that's just not reality. We all make mistakes and that's just part of the game and part of growing as a player. I promise you, as long as you put in the effort and reps, all these drills will make you a better player in the long run. Always be technique driven and trust the process. We hope you all enjoyed this video. I wanna say a big thank you to all of those who have subscribed to this channel so far and we love seeing your feedback. If you enjoyed this video and haven't subscribed yet, we would appreciate if you'd hit that like and subscribe button. And if you have any drills you'd like to see us do, please let us know. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.